Dawson's Rambles. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with a really short little Power Rangers news update on a new Lightning Collection release that is sort of leaked, probably ahead of the upcoming Fan First Friday on Tuesday, but we got a look at Mesagog. We are going to be getting a Mesagog figure from Power Rangers Dino, almost said Fury, Dino Thunder. There's too many dinos. There's going to come a point in the future where there's like four more dino series and I'm just going to mix them all up. But anyway, that's actually rather exciting. I think it was one I put on one of my villain wants list, and uh, despite that, I kind of forgot about it, which is funny because it's actually one of the few villains I do want a figure of and I'm excited about, because I really personally don't care all that much about the villains, but this is one that I definitely do want because it's one of my favorite villains in the franchise, and it's an original villain, so it automatically gets 10 bonus points. So I'm actually pretty stoked for that, and it looks overall pretty decent. Even though it's not necessarily on the top of my list, I also always felt like the weird oddly phallic-shaped uh, Mesagog monstrous form from the finale could make kind of a cool, uh, like, monster figure. You know, they do the monster line. They're a little bit bigger and, and more detailed with the sculpt. Like, it's not my favorite look, but I feel like it would be kind of a unique and cool one to do uh, in that line, just because it's, again, something original, which I always have extra affection for, but it'd be nice to get something that's not MMPR in that line. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm actually pretty stoked for this. Uh, like I said, there is a Fan Friday coming up. It's like on Tuesday. I will, you know, cover any updates after that. They're going to have announcements, likely uh, some lightning announcements, maybe some mainline ones. It would be nice to see something from Cosmic Fury. Um, Probably some stuff we know about, you know, that's been par for the course for a couple years now that usually, you know, at least over half the stuff is stuff we've already seen because it was released first or because uh, we found listings or somebody found listings or whatever. So, yeah, I'm still looking forward to it. I always have mixed feelings on Fan Fridays because I always have this instant, like, excitement of, like, oh, new reveals, and then I remember, like, what the fan reaction will probably be, and I instantly get, like, annoyed. I'm like, I know it. I'm so annoyed. They would hypothetically do that. I also feel like the one thing I don't like about Fan Fridays is it sets this precedent that everything needs an announcement, so that, like, when something doesn't get some sort of red carpet announcement, people think that that means Hasbro doesn't care, and that's just kind of silly, because we existed so long under Bandai without everything being announced, and now it's like as if that always needed to happen. But anyway, I'm hoping to see, you know, some new surprises, though. Like, I'm sure, like I said, we'll see some stuff we already heard about maybe in The Flash. The Flash, that sounds weird, you know what I mean. Uh, but I'm hoping we see some new surprises we don't know about, since this is the first one in a while. I think I talked about in one of my yearly wrap-up videos how it had been a long time since we had done a Fan Friday, so I'm glad we're doing one, and they, they are advertising the 30th anniversary a bit, so I think um, it would be nice to get some nice momentum rolling on the 30th anniversary. Even if we just get some teasers of their stuff they're doing, sort of merchandise and hype-wise, I think that would be really great. If I'm being honest, though, like, even though I'm interested to see what lightning announcements they're doing and, you know, what type of figures we might be getting uh, or updates on the morphers and all that type of stuff, I'm actually most interested to possibly see uh, something about Cosmic Fury, I'm hoping. I'm not expecting. I'm not going to rant and rave at them if they don't show it. I hope we can just get shown eventually. But that's probably the thing I'm most curious about. I highly, highly doubt we're not going to get any toys for Cosmic Fury, considering they're a toy company and... The reason they probably greenlit it was to make more toys, but I'm just curious to see what we're getting. Like, I feel like it's like a 90% shoe-in that we're going to get figures of it. They're easy enough to do. They already have the assets for the helmets and everything. You know, they're basically slight remolds of the originals, so I'm, I'm fairly confident about that. I certainly hope we don't see, uh, you know, exclusive figures again. Like, I don't want green and black to be part of an Amazon 5-pack again, but I'm confident about that. I think because we have, like, those newly designed morpher and weapons and stuff we see in the art, I get a feeling we'll see that at some point. Um, but I'm probably most curious to see about any other original stuff we don't know about and what Zords we end up using. I don't think that when we see the Cosmic Fury toys that it'll they'll, like tell us everything they're going to do. Um, but I, eventually I am curious to see how many of the Q-Ranger mecha we're actually going to end up using. Are we going to use one, two, all of them? I don't know. I'm definitely very curious, and that's the thing I'm probably most curious about going into the 30th anniversary. I guess a potential 30th anniversary line, too, because there's also uh, that, where there was that rumor back before the anniversary special was a thing, that, that like Trini's daughter was going to get a special ranger form that was going to be at the center of the anniversary line, and I want to see if any of that ends up being true. But yeah, what do you guys think of the Mezagog release? What are you hoping to see out of the upcoming Fan Friday on Tuesday? Let me know in the comments as always. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell. See you notifications for my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.